Is there life on Mars? Could methane be the key to unlocking this enigma? These questions have been intriguing scientists for years, and the mysterious gas, methane, is now at the center of this cosmic puzzle. In the quest to detect and understand signs of past or present life, NASA's Mars missions, including the Curiosity and Perseverance rovers, have placed a special emphasis on this gas. Why, you ask? Well, on Earth, most methane is produced by biological processes, making it a tantalizing clue in our search for Martian life. However, the source of methane on Mars is believed to be underground, and short-term fluctuations in atmospheric methane levels have presented a unique challenge for researchers. But a new study by John Ortiz, a graduate student at Los Alamos National Laboratory, and his team has provided some intriguing insights. Methane on Mars is a mystery we've yet to solve, but new research suggests that atmospheric pressure changes could be the key. So, what's the connection between atmospheric pressure and methane on Mars? Well, let's delve into the recent research findings. Picture Mars, a world of red dust and mystery. Beneath its surface lie networks of underground fractures, like a complex subway system, weaving and intersecting. These fractures are teeming with gases, one of them being methane. Now let's add the variable of atmospheric pressure into the mix. Just as you might experience pressure fluctuations when diving underwater or climbing a mountain, Mars too has its own atmospheric pressure changes. These fluctuations have the power to pull gases up from Mars's underground fracture networks. Imagine the atmospheric pressure acting like a giant invisible hand, reaching down into the Martian underground. As the pressure drops, it pulls up gases from the fractures like drawing water from a well. This process could be responsible for releasing subsurface methane into the Martian atmosphere. This isn't a constant process, though. There are times when the invisible hand is stronger, pulling up more methane. The research team found that these methane pulses from the ground surface into the atmosphere occurred just before the Martian sunrise during the planet's northern summer season. Such fluctuations in methane levels are not just seasonal, but daily too. It's a complex dance of methane, atmospheric pressure and temperature, all playing out on the stage of Mars's atmosphere. But what about the methane that doesn't make it to the surface? Well, some of it gets absorbed or attached onto the pores of rocks. This is a temperature-dependent process and may contribute to the methane level fluctuations. These findings paint a dynamic and intricate picture of the Martian atmosphere and its interplay with the planet's subsurface gases. But why does this matter? Because understanding when and where to look for methane can help us in the search for signs of life on Mars. As it turns out, the atmospheric pressure changes on Mars could be responsible for releasing subsurface methane into the Martian atmosphere. But how did researchers come to this conclusion? Well, it was a process that involved a combination of advanced technology and innovative thinking. Let's delve into the science behind these fascinating findings. The team, led by graduate student John Ortiz, turned to the power of high-performance computing clusters to simulate the journey of methane on Mars. They modeled how this gas, which could be a sign of life, travels through networks of fractures beneath the Martian surface. Just imagine methane molecules moving through a labyrinth of underground channels, almost like a subway system for gases, until they are eventually released into the atmosphere. But the journey of methane doesn't end there. Once in the atmosphere, the methane disperses and mixes within the atmospheric column, an invisible tower of air stretching above the Martian surface. This process, like a cosmic cocktail mixer, helps to spread the methane across different regions of the planet. But what about the methane that doesn't make it to the atmosphere? To answer this, the researchers also modeled how methane is absorbed onto the pores of rocks. This is a temperature-dependent process, meaning that the hotter or colder it is, the more or less methane will stick to the rocks. Think of it like a sponge soaking up water, but in this case, the sponge is the rock and the water is the methane. Understanding these processes allowed the researchers to make an important prediction. They found that methane pulses from the ground surface into the atmosphere just before the Martian sunrise. This is in the planet's northern summer season, which just recently ended. It's like an early morning alarm clock, but instead of waking you up, 
it's sending molecules of methane into the Martian atmosphere. Through these simulations, researchers were able to predict methane pulses from the ground surface into the atmosphere just before the Martian sunrise. These findings not only corroborate previous rover data that suggested methane levels fluctuated daily, but also offer valuable insights into the best times for Curiosity to conduct its atmospheric sampling experiments. So, what does this mean for the search for life on Mars? Well, the recent findings about methane pulses on Mars provide valuable insights for NASA's ongoing exploration efforts, particularly for the Curiosity rover sampling campaign. This rover, along with others like Perseverance, is tirelessly working on the Martian surface, seeking to detect and understand signs of life, such as methane. The research spearheaded by John Ortiz and his team at Los Alamos National Laboratory has significantly contributed to our understanding of the Martian methane mystery. And this knowledge is proving pivotal in guiding the Curiosity rover's operations. The team's high-performance computing simulations have predicted methane pulses from the Martian ground surface into the atmosphere just before the Martian sunrise in the planet's northern summer season. This information corroborates previous rover data suggesting that methane levels fluctuated not only seasonally, but also daily. Now, armed with this understanding, the Curiosity rover can strategically plan its atmospheric sampling experiments. It's like knowing when the fish are most likely to bite, so you know the best time to cast your line. In this case, the fish are the elusive methane pulses, and the line is the rover's scientific instruments. Ortiz's work has highlighted several key time windows when Curiosity should collect data. These time windows offer the best chance of constraining the timing of methane fluctuations. By pinpointing the best times to sample, we maximize the likelihood of catching a methane pulse in action, thereby bringing us one step closer to uncovering the source of this methane. This research is a significant leap forward in our quest to understand the methane on Mars. But it's not just about methane. Methane could be a sign of microbial life, whether past or present. So, every piece of data that brings us closer to understanding Martian methane also brings us closer to answering one of the biggest questions in space exploration. This research not only brings us closer to understanding methane on Mars, but also closer to answering the question, is there life on Mars?